If that's not the look in the face of a beaten and disheveled man that doesn't even have control of his own household, then I don't know what is. I compiled a bunch of clips here in order to go over the warning signs that we've all should have seen that would have led up to what we saw at that Oscar stage. My wife's name out your mouth. But without further ado. You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's gonna be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh if you could film me. Stare, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she don't just. Would you say that she... If that's not the look in the face of a beaten and disheveled man that doesn't even have control of his own household, then I don't know what is. This is the thousand yard stare. This is the married guy, the married unhappy guy stare. This is a man that didn't understand that a woman need to be right will beat you into a verbal submission one of which the male spirit is just not prepared for at all i would say don't just start filming me without asking me this is one of the first times that we've seen will smith the human being dealing with being in his own household with his wife this is not the Will Smith that battles the aliens. This is not the Will Smith that was portraying Muhammad Ali. This is not the Will Smith in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is Will Smith, the man who's been married for 25 years with a demon witch. Let's proceed. My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. And the question about that is, how did this even go live? If she just recorded it, how, how did it get into anyone else's hand? I mean, she still chose to post it. Holy moly. When I was young, I definitely think I had a sex addiction <laughs> of some kind. <laughs> yes, that everything could get be fixed by sex. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. And I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. Clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. It was yeah. a relationship. Absolutely. The idea that everything can be fixed by sex is a mentality that doesn't make any inkling of sense. Oh, but wait, when the young boy comes with mental health issues and you think that anything can be fixed by sex, is then the logic that your sex can help mend this young boy that's going through a serious time in his life? It's been right in front of us all along. Yes, yes, yes. My grandmother taught me about self-pleasuring because she wanted me to know that that pleasure was from me. Yeah. And she taught me at nine. The most difficult thing, now hear this, because this is serious. The most difficult job we have is to protect our children from premature sexual arousal. So the matriarch of that household taught Jada how to touch herself at nine years old no, this shows clear torment, clear torture, as in this case, put on to her from the matriarch of the home. And y'all don't understand why men in the household is absolutely needed. I went on Willow's Tumblr. She was 10 or 11 and she said, mom, and she's very matter of fact, she was like, I'm going to my Tumblr page, but as we're going to the Tumblr page, you're gonna see a lot of stuff. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, so she's just scrolling, scrolling. And when I tell you, I saw some of the most hardcore pornography it on Tumblr. It wasn't, Mom. It really it wasn't. wasn't. It, it was hard. It Listen, really wasn't. It was she's hardcore for you to be seeing that freaking 11 years old. It, it, 
Tumblr, I could Tumblr, not believe that. No, Tumblr like, is more of the artistic yeah. aspect of it, though. Not what I saw. Well, nothing artistic about that. I saw some. I don't remember stuff. what you saw, but yeah, what well, I, I know I remember of, graphically. What I, I know like, about <laughs> Tumblr. I was like Willow, and she was like, "Don't even pay attention to it. We're getting to my page." I was like. <laughs> I can't believe kids are exposed to this on a daily basis. I was profoundly yeah. disturbed. There's a very popular saying, it goes something like, behind every great man is a great woman. It's very popular. Old adage that I see a lot of married couples go by. Whoever you choose to be your significant other, if you choose to lock and tie yourself to them, you will only be as successful as they will allow you because if you choose incorrectly they will forever be an anchor they will forever be a thorn in your side with polyamory i feel like the main foundation is the freedom to be able to create a relationship style that works for you also doing research into polyamory the main reasons why monogamous relationships or why marriage why divorces happen is infidelity. Poly people still cheat, just FYI. How did you feel when I told you that I was polyamorous? When you were like, hey, this is my get down, I was like, I totally get it. Wanting to set up your life in a way that you can have what it is that you want. I think anything goes as long as the intentions are clear. You know it, what I mean? To everyone yeah. involved to and everyone, to yourself. Really more to yourself Self. than anything, yeah. right? And I know that there's a lot of beauty that sits outside of the conventional boxes. Yes, yes, yes. Again, um, lack of structure, a lack of framework, a lack of boundaries. Generally, this is where you see kind of the thinking goes when the father doesn't have control of this household. The free spirit, and then multiply that with being in Holly Weird, that's where they generally go at a very young age. And they figure out years after that, that okay, no boundaries is actually a fantastic thing. But notice what's in there is the freedom as what is acknowledged by the mother. I had to hustle. That's right. what my life was about. Cause there was a certain kind of lifestyle and way I wanted to live. I never wanted to depend on a man to take care of me. So I was in the streets selling drugs. I never wanted to be married. Did you ever feel like Jada was ungrateful? Hell yeah. Told you guys before, if they come from a tortured past, tread extremely lightly, especially those that have not gotten therapy for the things that they have endured or the things that they have seen. What does she say? That's a red flag and a half. She was a hustler because she never wanted to depend on a man to have to take care of her. Pay attention. I believe also she's from Baltimore and she talked a little bit about her neighborhood. Do you think that you should put a ring on a young lady that has that type of mentality? Do you think that it might bite you in the ass a decade or two after you make that decision? 15 years old, Jaden, and I remember this day Specifically, it was mm -hmm. probably one of the most heartbreaking moments of, of my life. Mm -hmm. You got to a point where you told me straight up, you were like, Mom, I have to leave here to live my life. Totally. And I remember thinking to myself, as devastated as I was, I was like, he's right. Yeah. The time is now. He's 15. It's time for him to leave the house. Mm -hmm. And I would have never agreed with that. I knew, I told Will, when Jaden was smaller, I said we'd be lucky to keep him in the house till he's 16. It says a lot about <laughs> a young man that says, nope, I need to be out of here by 15 years old. It makes you really question, think about, and wonder the things that were going on that he thought was not a good look for him to stay in, okay? Now, the next couple of clips here are what the young man started to do right after that. And I will say this, there is not a man, a father on this planet that wants to watch their young boy begin to dress like a woman in skirts and sequence shit, none of that. But I think this truly is the result of what happens if the nuclear family, if the father is not as present or if the mother who has come from a tortured past takes over. It's not to say that all mothers do that, 
But I think that in demonstrating how the kids have turned out through the different decisions that they have made, that they have gone public about, it puts into question how much it would have been different if Will was the true leader of that household. This is the letter that Willow wrote to Tupac. Dear Tupac, I know you're alive someplace and I think that my mommy really misses you. Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here, I really do. And again, the question is, is what type of household is this when the daughter is writing notes to the first option? So to conclude, and I really believe this, who you choose to be by your side, your significant other, as a man is one of the most profound decisions that you will ever make within your life. If you do choose to do that. Now Jada, 20, 30 years ago, beautiful woman, even in her 50s, she's still a very attractive older woman, okay? But that's our biggest kryptonite because the more attractive that they are, the more bullshit that you're willing to put up with. And what might seem like a good idea right now because of what they look like may turn into the worst decision that you have ever made. Shout out to Will, I hope he's getting the therapy that he needs and the counseling to leave that situation behind. Questions, comments, concerns. Gotta already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Do y'all agree? Do y'all not? Leave me some comments down below and let's get active. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.